Okay, if you're asked to graph a parabola with a horizontal or vertical axis and they ask you to graph this, here's a particular equation that they might give you. So the first thing you need to determine is, is it going to open vertically or horizontally? Okay. So graphs that open up or down, so a vertical graph, um, is is going to be able to be written in this form. y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So the x part is squared and the y is not squared. And so we did these earlier this year. And so remember, if you, you can find the x-coordinate of the vertex, which is the point where your graph changes direction, that little point there. Uh, and uh, then you can use a negative b over 2a to find the x-coordinate. Once you find the x-coordinate, you plug it in here to find the y-coordinate, and you make an xy chart. Okay kind of see what I'm talking about. This is hopefully jogging a little bit. The brain cells in there, hopefully reminding you of, that you did this earlier. And remember, if your A value here is a positive value, your graph is going to open up. It's thinking positive thoughts. It's happy. Okay. If A is negative, then you have a graph, a parabola that's right, thinking negative thoughts, and it's sad. Remember, it opens down like this. Okay. Now, if you have an equation where the Y squared is the y is squared and the x is not squared, then this is a parabola that opens up in the um, either right or left, okay? So horizontal directions. And it's very similar, except for inside, instead of finding the x-coordinate of the vertex, you're going to find the y-coordinate of the vertex. And you're going to use the same formula, except you're going to put a, a y here. So y is equal to a negative b over 2a. That gives you your y-coordinate of your vertex, okay? You're going to make an xy chart, but using picking y values and then solving for the x values. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, If a is positive in this case, it opens up to the right. Thinking positive x values, think x values get positive to the right. Okay, And here a is negative, it opens to the left. That's just what I remember to help me remember which, if it opens right or left. Okay, so that kind of gives you some general information. Let's look back at our equation and look at some specifics. Okay. So we see this equation. We have y squareds. So what we want to do is get x on one side of the equation by itself. And so since this is a minus x, I'm going to go ahead and just add x to both sides. And so you're going to get the equation negative 5y squared plus 20y minus 25 equals x. Okay, so this is my equation for a parabola that's going to open. Here's This is negative. So basically I know it's going to open like this. So you're going to find this vertex first. So remember what we're going to do in this case, we're going to use y equals the opposite of b over 2a. So b is 20, so we're going to take the opposite of 20, and we're going to divide it by 2 times a negative 5. And so we just need to simplify this. So that gives you a negative 20 over negative 10, which gives you 2. Okay, so essentially, if you think of your xy chart here, your middle value is going to start here with a 2. And this is going to be your vertex. Okay. So we can plug this in. We replace 2 in our equation, and I'm going to just kind of use this equation right here, written in that form, and I'm going to replace y with 2. So, and I can write this as x equals, like this, right, negative 5 times 2 squared plus 20 times 2 minus 25. So let's simplify this. It's going to give you a negative 5 times 4. plus 20 times 2 minus 25. So I'm writing out a lot more on this one. Right? Negative 20 plus 40 minus 25. 
So, and if you want, you could think of this as plus a negative 25. It's the same thing. So negative 20 plus 40 is a positive 20. 20 plus a negative 25 is a negative 5. So that's going to be this point right here. You plot that at a negative 5, 2. Now, what I want to do is I want to pick y values, two um, units um, above and two units below. So I'm going to pick, just use your counting numbers, right? Two, three, four, and then I'm take one away from two, and I get one, take one more away, and I get zero. And these are the values I'm going to pick for y, and then solve these for x. So we're going to repeat this process. Okay? So um, we can see what 0 is going to be a lot pretty quickly. If we replace 0 in here for y squared, you're going to get a negative 25. And guess what? Because of symmetry, this is going to be a negative 25 as well. So I'm going to plug in 1, and that's going to give me my same value for both of these spots here. And if you're not sure, plug it in. Replace the y here with a 4, and simplify this, and see if you get a negative 25. Okay, so let's do the same thing for negative 5 times 1 squared plus 20 times 1 minus 25. So that's going to give us a negative 5 plus 20 plus a negative 25. Okay, so negative 5 plus 20, that gives us 15. 15 plus a negative 25 is a negative 10. And so you can do check it out and see if when you plug a 3 in, you get the same thing. That could be your check to make sure you did it right. Now you're going to plot these points on your graph and connect them into the parabola. So I don't really have a whole lot of room here. So let's see. I'm going to basically kind of give you a general quick sketch and then you can do this in Alex pretty plot those points right so um, we're going to go out negative 5 and up positive 2 and so I can see that I have if I went out a negative 10 and up a positive 3 out negative 10 and up a positive 1 Let's see this is going to be pretty narrow graph something like this. 